All right, we're here and we are doing a F30 BMW 335i, so the N55 engine in it, and we're doing our VR2 and ECU flash, which is all done through the OBD2 port. So we've got the computer plugged in and we're gonna do the readout here, get the file, and then flash the new tuned version in it. So here we go. All right, we got the ignition on and we launched the flash client for BMW. So we'll go through the process. I agree, next. Next, next. Then with the F series, since you only do an ID, um, there's nothing to read out. But first, before you do the, um, the ID, you're gonna wanna save your coding file. And the coding file is what you write back after the tune is flashed. This saves all your vehicle's specific settings uh, that it has in it. All right, so the uh, BMW automatically recognizes the ECU type, MEVD17, and we're gonna lock the end user cable to this VIN. So now we have the screenshot um, portion of, the, um, of our installation guide. So this is what you wanna take a photo of and then upload to our website. So we will do that. And once that's done, we will go then to um, diagnostics and we will save the coding file and we will call this the customer's name. So the coding file has been saved. Now we are done and we just have to get the tune file and then we will flash back um, that file in here and be ready to go. All right, we just got the tune file back and now we're gonna flash it to the car. It's about a five minute process here on the BMW 335i F series, so it should go pretty quick. And then we'll fire it up and make sure everything uh, revs out okay. So we're gonna program this now again through the OBD2 port here with our VR tuned iFlash system. Okay, iFlash is launched. Let's go through the next prompts. And of course the key is on with all the lights on, plugged in, and we're going to get this thing programmed. This car already has a uh, BMS intake on here and an exhaust system. Uh, so the tune does take into account those mods as well as raise the speed limiter for those that really want to push the limits. Okay, so identified, next. Now we're gonna go to program ECU memory. Oops, program ECU memory. And we're gonna proceed. So we're going to flash his tune file. And now it's going to start the programming sequence. When you do flash back an original file, you do recover ECU memory. That switches you back to stock. So if you ever need to flash back to the stock file, that's the way to do it. So uh, we'll let this program here. Again, it'll take about 5-10 minutes. And then we will do the coding file and fire it up. Here's a little uh, background on this uh, 335i with the M55. It has the Burger Motorsports intake on it, uh, which works well. We also like using products from AEM engine um, and, of course, agency power. And this, uh, this car is also running an um, exhaust system. So uh, definitely a nice vehicle, 2013. It's got a good stance, nice wheels on it. So the uh, stage two VR tune flash should definitely make a difference here. So we're almost done programming. As soon as that is completed, we can fire up the car. Right now we are at about 50% and about five minutes left. All right, the ECU flash is uh, finished riding here. So it's gonna ask us to turn off the ignition and then we're gonna turn it back on and write the coating. So let's turn that off. Ignition's been turned off. Click our button, which uh, goes through the process to finish the flash. Okay, the flash has been successfully programmed. So now we're gonna write back the coding file. Uh, so we need to turn the ignition back on. 
And you can see all the lights are on the dash. We go in here to diagnostics, write coding, and we'll select his coding file. And that's been done. So we'll just go ahead and read, make sure there's no trouble codes. No trouble codes are there. So we can close that. And now we'll get in, make sure everything fires up with the car. So cycle the power and fire it up. All right, everything fires up. Let's see if it revs out okay. All right, car is good. No check engine lights. Everything's revving. Now it's time to take it for a drive. All right, the ECU flash has been completed on the 335i F30. Um, now it's time to take it for a drive and we're all done. So if you have any questions, leave us a comment. Make sure and visit us at vrtune.com and we look forward to taking care of you. We'll see you at the next one.